Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to find the vertex of a parabola uh, using something we call partial factoring or the partial factoring formula. So let's say that we have a quadratic function like the one that's given f of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 2. So that's our, that's our quadratic function and we want to find the vertex. Okay, so uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to need to make use of a, of a formula or, or an equation that's going to give us the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry formula is given by x is equal to negative b over 2a. So remember that since uh, the uh, axis of symmetry is a vertical line, right, that's going to take the form of x equals some number, and that number is going to be calculated by taking negative b divided by 2a. So that begs the question, um, what's b and what's a? Well, this is where you need to remember standard form for a uh, quadratic function. So that's uh, y equals, or f of x equals, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's standard form for a quadratic function. Now you're going to notice that the a uh, out front, the leading coefficient, that's the a that we're going to substitute into our axis of symmetry formula. And the b value in our axis of symmetry formula is going to come from the b value in our standard form. Okay, so uh, once we take those coefficients, again, you just take the coefficients, not the not the x that goes along with it, just the just the coefficient. You sub it in there, and that's going to give you the equation of the axis of symmetry. So the question that we need to answer now is why do we need to know what the axis of symmetry is, uh, given um, that we're looking for the vertex? So let's take a look at a diagram quickly. So here I have a parabola, right? This particular one opens down, right? Um, so the vertex is going to be, in this case, the, the highest point, so right there. Okay. Um, now what you need to remember is that the, a parabola is symmetrical uh, around the axis of symmetry. Now what that means is that my axis of symmetry is going to pass straight through my vertex. So if I know my axis of symmetry, I actually know what the x value of my vertex is. Okay. So by using the axis of symmetry formula, what we're really doing is we're calculating what the x value of the vertex is. Okay, so once we know the x value of our vertex, it'll actually be pretty easy to find the y value of our vertex, but we'll get to that in a moment. So let's calculate the x value of our vertex, or basically the axis of symmetry, for the example we have up top, so negative 3x squared minus 12x plus 2. Okay, so in this case, x is going to be equal to, well, instead of negative b, we're going to replace b with, uh, with the b value from our equation, which is negative 12. So we're going to have the negative of negative 12, and we're going to divide that by... 2 times our a value, and our a value in this case is negative 3. So we get the negative of negative 12 divided by 2 times negative 3. Okay, simplifying this out a little bit, the negative of negative 12 is positive 12, and then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So we're going to have 12 divided by negative 6, and that's going to give us an axis of symmetry of negative 2. Okay, and again, that negative 2 there, that tells us the x value of our vertex. Now, since we know that the x value of our vertex is negative 2, it's easy to find out what the y value is, because all we need to do is take that x value and substitute it back into our initial quadratic, for, uh, quadratic equation. So, in other words, we're going to be looking for f of negative 2, so the y value when x equals negative 2. So f of negative 2 is what we need, right, because that's our x value. And so we're going to replace every uh, every x in our uh, quadratic equation with negative 2, and that's going to look like this. So we're going to have negative 3 times negative 2 squared minus 12 times negative 2 plus 2. Okay, so from this point on, to calculate the y value, all we need to do is simplify this, uh, this expression. So uh, let's see. So negative 3 times negative 2 squared is negative 12, right? Negative 12 times negative 2 is positive 24. And then we have our plus 2 at the end, so negative 12 plus 24 plus 2 is positive 14. Okay, so the x value of our vertex was negative 2. The y value of our vertex is positive 14. Okay, um, so that means that we're going to have our vertex at negative 2, positive 14. So this is how to find the vertex of a parabola using uh, the axis of symmetry formula, also sometimes called partial factoring. Take care, guys.